Hello and welcome, I'm Dr. Iris Amelia, and today we're going to talk about one of the most common yet rarely discussed questions in the entire field of sexual health. Is swallowing semen harmful? It's a topic surrounded by curiosity, discomfort, and sometimes even shame. But let's be honest, asking questions about your body and your health should never be embarrassing. It's actually one of the smartest and most responsible things you can do for yourself. And as an andrology specialist, my goal here is simple, to give you clear, judgment-free, science-based information that helps you make confident and healthy choices. So let's set aside the taboos and myths. Today, we're going to take a calm, factual look at what semen really is, what happens in your body if it's swallowed, what the real health risks are, and which common beliefs are simply not true. By the end of this discussion, you'll understand the full picture. No shame, no confusion, just facts explained in plain English. Let's begin by understanding what semen actually is. Most people think semen is made entirely of sperm, but that's not accurate at all. In reality, sperm cells, the actual reproductive cells, make up less than 5% of the total volume. The other 90 plus percent is a biological fluid called seminal plasma. This fluid is produced by several glands in the male reproductive system, mainly the seminal vesicles, prostate gland, and bulbourethral glands. The purpose of this plasma is to nourish, protect, and transport the sperm. Think of it like a protective nutrient solution, a biological support system that allows sperm to survive long enough to do their job. Now, what's inside this fluid? The main ingredient, making up more than 90% of the total volume, is simply water. Floating in that water are a variety of substances, each with its own role. There's fructose, a natural sugar that serves as the main energy source for sperm cells, like fuel for their long journey. There are also proteins and enzymes, some of which help the semen thicken right after ejaculation so that it stays in place, while others later help it liquefy again, allowing sperm to move freely. You'll also find minerals and vitamins like zinc, calcium, magnesium, and vitamin C, all of which contribute to sperm health and vitality. Altogether, semen is a carefully balanced biological mixture designed for reproduction. However, its exact composition and even its taste and texture can vary a bit from person to person. Diet, hydration, smoking, alcohol use, and overall health can all subtly change how it looks or tastes. That's completely normal, and it reflects the person's general lifestyle and wellness. So now that we know what semen is made of, Let's explore what happens in the body when it's swallowed. When any substance enters your mouth, your digestive system immediately goes to work. From the mouth, it travels down the esophagus and into the stomach. And here's where things get interesting. Your stomach is one of the harshest environments in your entire body. It's filled with hydrochloric acid, which gives it a pH of around 1.5 to 3.5. That's more acidic than lemon juice or vinegar. This acid isn't just there for digestion. It's your body's built-in defense system against harmful microbes. It kills most bacteria, viruses, and other pathogens that might enter with your food, or in this case, with semen. Semen, being mostly made of water, sugar, and proteins, is treated by your body like any other organic substance. The acid immediately begins breaking down the proteins and enzymes, unfolding them into smaller units called amino acids. The fructose is digested like any other sugar. And as for sperm cells themselves, they're extremely fragile. In the acidic environment of the stomach, they don't stand a chance. They're quickly destroyed and broken down like any other biological material. From there, the digested components move into the small intestine, where they're absorbed just like any nutrients from any regular food. So, from a purely biological and digestive standpoint, the human body is perfectly equipped to handle it. In other words, swallowing semen doesn't poison you. It doesn't affect your hormones. It doesn't change your body chemistry. For a healthy person, semen is simply processed and digested like any other protein-containing fluid. 
But that's only half the story, because while your digestive system can handle semen safely, the real concern has nothing to do with digestion at all. It has to do with what semen can carry. Semen is one of the main bodily fluids through which sexually transmitted infections, or STIs, are transmitted. This includes viruses and bacteria such as HIV, HPV, herpes, syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and hepatitis B and C. When semen containing any of these pathogens comes into contact with the mucous membranes in your mouth or throat, there's a chance of transmission. Unlike your outer skin, which is a tough protective barrier, the tissues inside your mouth and throat are much thinner and full of tiny blood vessels close to the surface. This makes them far more vulnerable. If you have even a small cut, sore, or irritation, say from brushing your teeth too hard, recent dental work, or a canker sore, that creates a direct entry point for pathogens to enter the bloodstream. Even bleeding gums, which many people don't even notice, can significantly raise the risk. And here's one of the biggest misconceptions. You cannot tell by looking at someone whether they have an STI. Many of the most common infections are asymptomatic, meaning a person can look and feel perfectly healthy while still carrying and transmitting the infection. That's why visual inspection or verbal assurance is never enough. The only reliable way to know is through recent, comprehensive STI testing. Without it, the risk, even if small, is always present. So from a health perspective, the right question isn't, is semen dangerous? The real question is, could this person's semen carry an infection? Because the answer to that depends entirely on the individual's sexual health status. For people in a mutual monogamous, tested, and infection-free relationship, the risk is very low. But in casual or untested encounters, it becomes significant. That's why understanding and communicating about sexual health is so important. It protects both partners. Now, aside from infections, there's another rare but noteworthy concern, allergic reactions. Yes, some people can actually be allergic to semen itself. This condition is called human seminal plasma hypersensitivity, or HSPH. It's very uncommon, but it does happen. It's similar to how someone might be allergic to peanuts or pollen. The immune system mistakenly identifies a protein in the semen as a threat and reacts against it. The symptoms can vary. For some people, it might just cause mild irritation, itching, or redness in the areas that came into contact with semen, like the mouth or throat. But for others, the reaction can be much stronger, with hives, swelling, breathing difficulties, and in the most extreme cases, a serious reaction called anaphylaxis that requires immediate medical attention. There's also a very rare secondary type of reaction that can happen if the semen carries trace amounts of something the person is allergic to, for example, a food or medication. There have been documented cases where someone had an allergic reaction because their partner had recently taken a specific antibiotic and tiny traces of it were present in the semen. These cases are rare, but they remind us that everyone's body is unique and sensitivity can vary greatly. If you ever notice any unusual itching, swelling, or throat irritation after contact with semen, it's important to talk to a doctor. Don't ignore it or try to self-diagnose. Proper medical guidance is key. Now that we've covered the real physiological and safety aspects, let's address some of the most common myths surrounding this topic, because misinformation is often more dangerous than the act itself. The first myth, and probably the most absurd, is the idea that you can get pregnant from swallowing semen. Let's make this absolutely clear. That is biologically impossible. There is a 0% chance. Here's why. The digestive system and the reproductive system are completely separate. When you swallow something, it travels down your esophagus into your stomach, through your intestines, and eventually leaves the body as waste. None of that has any physical connection to the uterus, fallopian tubes, or ovaries, which are the pathways needed for fertilization. Sperm cells cannot travel from your stomach to your reproductive organs. In fact, they're completely destroyed by stomach acid within seconds. So there's no scenario in which swallowing semen could lead to pregnancy. The second myth is that semen is some kind of superfood, that it's loaded with protein, vitamins, and hormones that make it good for your health or your skin. You've probably seen claims online saying it improves mood or gives your body extra nutrients. 
While semen does contain trace amounts of nutrients like zinc and vitamin C, the quantities are far too small to make any meaningful difference. An average ejaculation contains about one teaspoon of fluid, roughly five to seven calories, and less protein than a single almond or a sip of milk. That's it. So while it's true that semen is an organic fluid containing nutrients, it's not a supplement, not a superfood, and certainly not a replacement for a balanced diet. The idea that it can boost your mood or help your skin is purely anecdotal, not supported by science. So from a nutritional standpoint, there are no proven health benefits to swallowing semen. It's not harmful in healthy, infection-free situations, but it's also not particularly beneficial. Now you might wonder, if it's mostly harmless and not really beneficial, why is it still considered a sensitive or taboo subject? The answer lies in culture, not biology. Sexual topics have long been surrounded by embarrassment, secrecy, and moral judgment. But as healthcare professionals, it's our job to replace that shame with understanding and education. When people feel ashamed to ask questions about their sexual health, they're more likely to rely on unreliable sources, rumors, social media posts, or unverified advice. And that can lead to real harm. So if you take one message from this video, let it be this. Your health questions are valid. It's okay to be curious. It's okay to ask. In fact, asking and learning is one of the most mature and responsible things you can do. Now let's bring everything together into a clear conclusion. From a digestive perspective, swallowing semen is harmless for most healthy people. Your body digests it just like it would any other organic substance. There's no poisoning, no hormonal impact, and no internal damage. From a sexual health perspective, however, there are real risks, primarily related to sexually transmitted infections. Because semen can carry viruses and bacteria, it's always important to know your partner's sexual health status and to use protection, especially in new or untested relationships. Rarely, there can also be allergic reactions, but these are uncommon and usually manageable with proper medical care. And finally, the popular myths about pregnancy or miraculous health benefits are just that, myths. There's no scientific evidence supporting those claims. Ultimately, the decision about whether to engage in this act is a personal choice. What matters most is that your choice is informed, consensual, and rooted in respect for yourself and your partner. Healthy sexuality isn't about fear or judgment. It's about safety, communication, and mutual trust. So if you ever feel uncertain, talk to your partner openly, ask questions, get tested together, and always remember that in any situation where you're unsure of a partner's sexual health, the safest option is to use a barrier method like a condom. Thank you for joining me today and for taking the time to learn about your health. The more we replace stigma and misinformation with knowledge, the safer and more confident we all become. I'm Dr. Iris Amelia, and my mission is to help you understand your body, your health, and your choices with clarity and confidence. If you found this discussion helpful, don't forget to stay tuned because in my next video, we'll explore another topic surrounded by curiosity and myth, the real risks and safety measures associated with anal sex. Until then, take care of yourself, stay informed, and remember, knowledge is the most powerful form of protection you have.